All right, gentlemen, last up we have um, the 3A West. Let's hear your thoughts on that. All right, starting at the top, Chris. Uh, big win over Irwin last week, taking on West Rowan. Oh, uh, man, I'm telling you. This is going to be a old school game right here. Uh, oh, yeah. West Rowan, you know, seeing them early this year, they really like to run the football. Uh, they can, you know, throw it, you know, a couple times if they, they really need to. But uh, you remember Scott Young, how he used to, you know, eye formation down here running. I mean, uh, Coach Nixon has done the same, you know, type thing up there. Their defense really hits. They fly to the football. They're physical. Um, that's going to be a good game. Crest, you know, we, we know about their ability to run the football. Um, the athletes they traditionally have in that program, but that, that's going to be a fun second round game. For sure, and I haven't seen Crest as much this year, but I mean, you know, just knowing the reputation that they have, I mean, it's going to be hard for me to not see them, you know, prevail in this game by a good amount. But, you know, to see West Rowan, you know, knock off Freedom, which I know usually is a pretty good program, it, it will produce this interesting second round game. But I mean, enough of all of the intro talk. But what we need to talk about is, <laughs> um, you know, Catholic Hus. I mean, I, I'm excited for this game. I mean, I think that, you know, with everything last year that happened with, you know, Catholic beating Hus there, to get this, re, you know, rebound game in a situation where Catholic maybe isn't what they've always been, you know, and, you know, even like like Coach Bill's pointed out with the running back from Catholic going back home, I mean, the storylines write themselves in this game. Um, the one thing, though, we always talk about playoffs, and we, we did mention it, is that Monroe team almost clipped them. I, oh, that was, yeah. you know, I, I saw the amazing catch by uh, Shalik Knotts, and I mean, like I said, Monroe always has that talent to make any game interesting, and to see, you know, to see us Kind of almost with the, with the look ahead situation where, you know, they didn't play the best, but, you know, Coach McCoy got those guys to focus enough to get through, and now the rematch. I, I think that Huss has the best chances ever, of ever to, you know, really take over and, and get this game. But, like you say, until until I see Catholic dead, until I see them on the ground, not moving, lifeless, I, I can't count those guys out, man. I mean, those those coaches, those players, have a refused to die mentality. And even in a year where we all are sitting around like, this could be the year. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out of here and, and take this and give Crest the game and give them all they can handle in the third round. Well, this is definitely a unique situation. Now, there's not much I can add to that, Coach. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, in a situation like this, you wonder how much can McDowell help the Hus defense to get ready for this game? Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and knowing, you know, what they want to do schematically on both sides of the ball, um, his insight, I think, will, will definitely help us here. But... You know, with Catholic, you know, their their kind of issues have been more offensive oriented. Right, uh, right. Their defense is still really good. For um, sure. Hunter Us is going to have to find a way to move the football consistently, which in the playoffs last year was, you know, the problem. Yep. You know, it was an ugly game, it was a defensive game. Special teams played a, a key part in that game last year. Um, this is on our short list. We might be there. Um, once again, with Hunter Us, when we were there against Kings Mountain, there was literally – no parking anywhere. I, I Brandon got there late, had to park under a tree in some, in some field somewhere. I still don't know where he found a spot at. So uh, I know there's going to be a huge crowd at this game. Um, going down to the bottom of the bracket of AC Reynolds, Northeast Guilford. Uh, Coach, I'll let you have that. No, I'm just I'm happy for my guys. I mean, I think, you know, I spoke to, to those guys. Um, and, you know, I was just excited to see them get the victory. I think, you know, now going up to Asheville presents a different <laughs> presents a different story. Um, you know, we'll see again. I think with them being run-based, you know, that, that does travel. But can they continue to, to prevail against a, a definitely a much stiffer opponent than A.C. Reynolds? So they've got a great shot, um, you know, to take that over. But this is one of those games where, you know, we'll see very early if, you know, they're able to, to match up up front with A.C. Reynolds, and I think that'll dictate, you know, where we see this game going. So I'll definitely have to stream up to, to see what goes on and see the result and, you know, everything that happens. I'm rooting for my guys, but it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. And then you got a regional final quality matchup here in the second round. Kings Mountain going up to Statesville. Both teams destroying their first round opponents. Definitely. Um, you, you got athletes all over the field for both of these teams. Um, this is going to be a really fun game. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of disrespect out there for Statesville, though. I, I for, know. for 12 and 0 Statesville, I've seen a ton of disrespect. And I, you know, I, I, I've seen Kings Mountain on the film. I've, I've seen, you know, how versatile they are, what they can do. But, you know, even the games I've seen where Statesville, you know, the teams they beat, some of them haven't been great, but I always say that about teams. They're also beating them like they aren't. Yeah. 
I, I think that's to me always a key whenever we talk about schedule strength. If you're out here beating teams that aren't great and you're beating them in a similar or consistent fashion, you have nothing to do but respect that. The key for them will be to come out and honestly start fast. I mean, when you're a team that's undefeated, especially in a situation where people are actually aren't thinking that that you know you're the favorite, you got to come out and establish dominance real quick. Right. And, and you know, with Kings Mountain, of course, which is battle tested, they played tough. You know, three A competition, so they're not. You know, they're they're well equipped for this game. But if they can come out early and put the, any seed of doubt in Statesville's head, that's where I think you'll start to see the, the gears turn. But and that one, like you said, it, it's a regional final level quality game. I think. I mean, all these second round games here. I mean, we, we talk a lot about four A and four double A. You know, but you know my roots. You know, being in, in three single A. Like I say, it's the toughest toughest out in uh, in all of the classifications to me. Absolutely. Good luck to all you guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.